are we live? I believe we are live. What is going on, everybody? I go by Philly Mike, and this is the Philly Tall Podcast. Hopefully, try number two works. Let me know right away in the chat notification, gang, if I am lagging. If it is, it's something I got to do downstairs, and it looks like I'm lagging already. I don't understand this. Just was live yesterday with y'all. I don't know. With that being said, help your boy out if you are new to the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe if you are new, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss the videos again. We're going to try this one more time. Tuesday. Tuesday is like the worst day for me for streaming videos, and it's just like my bad luck day. It's my bad luck day. Please tell me for lagging. Eagles and former Patriots wide receiver Devontae Parker reached an agreement on a one-year deal. But here's the kicker. 4.69, 4.69 million. We back and the lag is back. Oh, Lord, have mercy on my soul. <sighs> yeah, but the cam shouldn't be lagging. It's the same camera I always use. Same camera I always use. Now it looks like it's going to stop, but it's like I already done messed this up. I don't know. See, it looks like it's good. Is it still lagging? I don't see. Anyways, um, the Eagles and former Pagers wide receiver Devontae Parker reached an agreement on a one-year deal. $4.69 million fully guaranteed deal, which Philadelphia only got to pay 1.2. So the deal is 4.69. The Eagles only got to pay 1.2. Whether he's here or not, you get a guy who can possibly fill in your wide receiver three spot for 1.2 mil. Yeah, the injury history is there. Yeah, he's like 20 years into the league. I understand all that. There's a report coming out that he's last for the last four years in separation. We just need him to catch the ball every once in a while. Because he's wide receiver three if he makes the roster. How we could easily, with one of these fourth or fifth round picks, go out and get a young receiver to compete with the grandpa and Devontae Parker for an opportunity for wide receiver three. But wide receiver three on the Eagles is really pass catcher four or five. AJ, Smitty, Goddard. That's three. And now with Saquon Barkley, a guy who catches 50 passes a year for the last three or four years, should be utilized that way. All that being said, you got a guy now who's wide receiver three on the depth chart, but pass catcher five. How many passes is he going to get the ball thrown to him? And again, it's a low-risk, reward-type signing. How he's always looking for these type of signings for the simple fact that, one, the Patriots are paying a third of his contract. We're getting the dude for $1.2 I bet you Quez made more than $1.2 last year. You know what I mean? So all in all, when you look at what, how he's trying to do, he's definitely maximizing opportunities where if it doesn't work, it don't, it don't matter. If it doesn't work, it don't matter because we're not paying that 4.69. We're paying 1.2 mil. Devontae is thrilled and grateful to become a Philadelphia Eagle and help this elite organization win a champion, said Parker's agent, Jimmy Gold. Again, if Devontae Parker is signed to a team that needs him to be the legit third best pass catcher on a team, it's not a great signing. Like, if he's going on a team that has a stud one, a stud two, and he has to contribute because their running back don't catch passes, they're tight in his mid. He has to contribute. Well, then guess what? Not a good signing. But he's wide receiver three here. But really, he's pass catcher number five. 
Third and five, who do I want the ball to be thrown to? Saquon or Devontae Parker? You know what I mean? And don't forget, we got Britton Covey on the roster. He's our special team guy. And when in doubt, if we need him, he can always come in and fill in there. And like I said, I don't, don't put it past Howie to go out and get a wide receiver in the fourth or fifth round. Remember, we got three fifth round picks to compete for Devontae Parker's job. So I'm not saying he, this is a set in stone. Devontae Parker is wide receiver three. He might not make the roster. But if you're telling me a contract that is 4.69 mil, the Eagles are only going to pay 1.2? Because how he finagled it, I'm down. King DV with the $2 super chat. Appreciate the love and support. He said, them giant fans attacking the stream, bro. Somebody is. Somebody is. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's because I got the bet US thing up. But it shouldn't. That shouldn't matter. That's crazy. It's crazy to me how uh, the stream is acting up like that. All that being said, who cares? We, we going to rock out. See, this never happened. I never have I ever started a stream and it just lagged like that. So uh, we going to figure it out for sure. But again, I think this is... Uh, it ain't going to... Again, this ain't a move where we're going to go... Da -na -na, na -na -na, like, it needs to be reported. It's just for people... Doubt, people so, are so mad at this move, right? This ain't going to affect the fact that we still need a linebacker and a safety. But assigning him ain't going to stop us from either trading or signing for a linebacker or safety. Although the linebacker and safety market is falling apart. Patrick Queen off the board. Jordan Brooks off the board. Josie Jewell off the board. Um, you name it, they're off the board. I think Willie Gay still out there, if I'm not mistaken. I think he's still out there. But more importantly, yes, I would like a linebacker, but I think the Eagles can find their way. I think the safety position is still a big-time must as well. And ML Football says the Philadelphia Eagles are working to get a multi-year deal with free agent safety Justin Simmons. The deal is not done. Defensive coordinator Vic Fangio wants Simmons. I don't know how true this is. I would agree that Vic Fangio sees Simmons out there and says he can be a difference maker. For anybody who says he was trash last year, yeah, he was an all-pro, but he was a pro bowler. He was a pro bowler. Dang, I, me, me watching myself lag is really just pissing me off. But he was a pro bowler last year, so I don't think he's played bad. Would I prefer C.J. Garner-Johnson? Of course, 26-30. That's a four-year different right there. I think you actually play your best football as a secondary member at 25 to 29. Matter of fact, 25 to 28, I think you're playing your best ball. That's why I want a McKinney. That's why I'm looking at CJ. And I'm even going to uh, entertain Cameron Curl, who I think is better than people give him credit for. But Justin Simmons, to me, is a no-brainer, especially if the money works. Especially if the money works. You simply need depth at the look, look. Look at Kevin Byard. For whatever we want to say about him, the Bears picked him up before free agency started because he was eligible to be picked up before the free agency period because he was released. He's not an unrestricted free agent. The dude got seven and a half mil, seven and a half mil to go Chicago. Safeties are coming off the board. I like the Geno Stone pickup for the Cincinnati Bengals. I think it was a really good one. I think it uh something the Eagles should have considered for sure. Brent Peterson with a $20 super chat while Philly Mike is all lagged up. Pause. Mike, when I get off of work, I love talking Philly sports with my people. Keep dropping what you're uh keep doing what you're doing. Been a member since 2017. You my guy. Hey, Brent Peterson, I appreciate you for the $20 banger. Love hearing all y'all thoughts, whether it's live in the stream or whether you comment on a video. I love hearing from y'all. If y'all didn't see, we had Big Play Slay on the channel. If you go to my last video with CJ Garner Johnson in the middle, Big Play Slay talks about the Eagles free agency, Vic Fangio, him being a captain, 
some retired players and the youngsters on the team and Keely Ringo and Eli Ricks, but he does give his opinion on Saquon and Bryce Huff as well. Appreciate you, Brent Peterson. Also, hit the like button. Maybe it'll help stop the lag. <laughs> King DV with another $2 super chat. Howie got Devontae Parker on Groupon. <laughs> That's also what needs to be understood. If you're telling me we sign in him for 4.69 mil, I'm like, what? Then if you cut him, it's a it's it's a whole, it's you lost some change. But when you get him for 1.2 mil because you make the Patriots pay for the majority of the contract, I'm saying, hey, if he doesn't make the team, he doesn't make the team. But whatever youngster gets drafted by the Eagles in the fourth or fifth round is going to understand that he got the grandpa to compete with. Got to compete with grandpa. Commanders got Chin. Yes, I saw that. And although Chin, Chin has been battling injuries, when he's healthy, he put good tape out on, out on the field. When he's healthy, he plays some good football. And uh, that would have been a guy that I would have uh, thought about bringing in too. The Geno Stone deal was crazy cheap. The be careful, Pop. The Geno Stone deal was crazy, crazy cheap for who I, who Geno Stone is. Um, and I don't know what the exact deal was for what's his name, um, Jeremy Chin, but it was a deal. But you can't be mad with this as your offensive firepower. You really can't be mad with this as your offensive firepower. That is uh, some hefty, hefty firepower. The defense still got to get some stops. The defense got to do something, you know. We added Devontae Park to this. But again, when you got all of that, does it really matter who's wide receiver three, pass catcher five? I don't believe so. But something like this can just change the complexity of what people looking at the defense. Yes, Zach Bond is a mystery. He hasn't really done it in the league. I think a lot of people liked him. A lot of people liked him coming out the draft in 2020. I was one that liked him. Now, we used our second-round pick on Jalen Hurts. He was a third-round pick to the Saints. However, I look at the defense as, get me a question. How he has to have a plan. That's what the title of this says. He has to have a plan. The linebackers and safeties that are flying off the board, my man looked like he's keeping an even kill, hand not shaking. We need to address them situations. You can't go into the draft trying to fix both linebacker and safety. Now, CJ Garner Johnson's still on the board. There was talks we were interested. We'll see how far that goes. I think one of, if not both, I would love both. But just for me being realistic, you got to get one of Justin Simmons or C.J. Garner-Johnson. There were talks early that a multi-year deal was getting done. When I hear multi, he's already 30. I'm not giving him anything longer than a three. I prefer two. But a three-year deal max, that's when he gets to that 33, 34-year-old age. Look at Demario Davis. Demario Davis for the New Orleans Saints. He just, turned, he just signed a two-year deal with the Saints as he's 35 years old. Listen, I know we hate bringing in 32, 33, 31-year-olds, and I'm with y'all. Most of them don't work out. But I saw Malcolm bowl out in his 32, 33-year-old age. I, Demario Davis is still balling. Go look at the tape. Look what he's doing for the Saints. Look what Von Miller. I think Von Miller was... Correct me if I'm wrong in the chat, but I think Von Miller was 33 years old. I think Von Miller was 33 when he signed a five-year deal. <laughs> five years. That would have put him from 38 when he's, when he's done with that deal with the Bills. So some people can play in their 30s. It's what position is it that matters? And what do they look like, you know? Just saying, I've seen people in the 30s play. Demario Davis, 35 years old, signed a two-year deal with the Saints. The Saints always got a good defense. They always got a good defense. So I'm betting that they, you know what I mean? These dudes, they understand what he what he brings to the table. Let's see if anything else pop while we just got on here. I did see Levante Davis go back to the uh to the uh Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 
The Eagles also did re-sign Brandon Mann. We signed our punter. We brought back uh, Rick Lovato. And we signed a center slash guard, Matt Odyssey, I want to say, from the Atlanta Falcons early in the morning while I was at work. I look at that like this. I look at that like this. Tyler Steen is still young. Matt Odyssey, Tyler Steen fighting it out to see who plays right guard as of now. Jurgen sliding over to center. We just extended Landon Dickerson as the best left guard in the NFL. I looking at it like, okay, do the Eagles draft the guy in the 2024 draft? Maybe. But right now, safety and linebacker look impressive. But if you if you have Matt Odyssey and um Tyler Steen competing, that could I said Odyssey. Is it is Hennessy? No, Matt Hennessy, yeah. Why am I saying Odyssey? Sheesh. Again, my brain is lagging. You already know how I do anyways. Matt Hennessy. Uh again, center slash guard, they're gonna compete. I'm not here to say that Matt Hennessy is a great offensive lineman. Don't know too much about him. Who's Matt Odyssey? You're right. You're right. I deserve that. But it's always good, whether we believe in Tyler Steen or not, it's always good to get competition. And so right there it is. Until the Eagles come out and, and do what they always do. We want a corner. We want a linebacker with the first pick of the 20, with the first round pick, number 22 of the 2024 NFL draft. The Eagles select offensive linemen out of blah, 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 blah. That's probably what's going to happen. And shout out to Ronnie McLeod for finally showing love to Big Kelsey and all that. It was an honor to share the field with the two of the best, with two of the best to put the Eagles uniform on and two of the best of our generation. Enjoy retirement, fellas. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got to love that. Plus, again, if you didn't see, again, look what Broncos Josie Jewell commanded. Three-year deal, $22.75 million. He's going to Carolina. Is he a lot? Is he the best linebacker in the game? No, but I think the Eagles need to sign someone other than Zach Bond. We definitely need to get somebody into safety. Matt Hennessy <laughs> uh, is going to compete. We'll see where that goes. What I want to say. Um, oh, yeah. If you didn't check out Philly Mike's video this morning, go check it out. We have Big Play Slay on the channel. This is what Big Play Slay thinks of the Saquon Barkley. We talk about Saquon Barkley, Bryce Huff, him as a captain, the youngsters. We talk about Vic Fangio, and we also talk about Jason Kelsey and Fletch. But if you missed it, it's the video with CJ Garner-Johnson on it. You can go back and check it out. I'll give you a little 30-second clip, though. Man, he gonna bring a lot to the table, man. For a guy that could come out the backfield, line up a roof receiver, so uh, now you can see it as you could be in twelve personnel, it'd really be in eleven because the fact that he can really go out there and um, run routes uh, and get active. So uh, it's a great addition, man. They go, uh, they go extend the pass game, and you know, of course, uh, the run game gonna get a lot better as well. Even though we had Swift, Swift was great at what he does too. Oh yeah, so he was damn good as well. So I mean, any one of them two is, I guess, uh, are the best fit for our offense, and um, I'm glad both of them boys got paid. Man, he go yeah, glad both of them boys got paid as well. But like I said, at the end of the day, um, you look at it, Justin Simmons is sitting there waiting for the Eagles to sign him. And former Pro Bowl Daniel Hunter is signing with the Texans. Source tell rap sheet. Again, guys still coming off the board. Some teams have been real, real, real active, for sure. Rashad maybe with the $2 Super Chat. Appreciate the love and support. White, CJ, Simmons, or Gay should be an eagle. White, C CJ, CJ Garner-Johnson, Justin Simmons, Willie Gay. Who's white? Oh, Devin White. Yeah. Give me one of them two. I mean, give me one. Give me two of them four. Gay or white, linebacker. I prefer gay, to be honest. Pause. <laughs> and CJ or Simmons, I'll take either or. CJ's the long-term option. Uh, Justin Simmons is a shorter-term option, but I think they both would fit. 
CeeDee's just a dog and can do a lot of different things. And Justin Simmons played his best ball again under Vic Fangio. I agree with you, Rashad Maven, but there you go. Other people doing do making moves. Again, I don't normally trust ML football. Like I don't, I won't trust ML football with like everything, but they've been pretty. Of course, they want to get clicks and all that, and they do say a lot of stuff. But if you read, they they do be hitting on some things. And this sounds pretty straightforward to say the Philadelphia Eagles are working to get a multi-year deal with free agent safety Justin Simmons. The deal is not done. Defensive coordinator Vic Fangio won Simmons again. Throwing out, throwing it out there, hoping they get they get it right. I don't know, but it's a no brainer to at least pick up the phone and call him. With the DC we have, and it has to be done. Again, when I first saw this pick, so many people on Twitter were upset. And again, this ain't a this ain't a, a, a signing that I'm happy about, but I don't see any reason to be upset with this. Because if you're worried about wasting money, this ain't doing nothing to us money-wise to stop us from getting a linebacker or a safety, which is needed, which is much needed. This ain't stopping us from getting a linebacker or a safety. What's stopping us, I don't know, is Howie Roseman just not pulling the trigger? <laughs> I don't know. But the contract states 4.69 mil, but the Eagles are only paying 1.2. So he's cuttable. He's probably going to have to work his butt off to get a roster spot because I see the Eagles drafting a wide receiver late in the draft. Plus, we talked about it. When it comes to pass catchers, these are all the pass catchers on, on the team. Count it. I see one, two, three, four, five. I see five players. Five players on the screen to my, to my left. Five players. One of them throws the ball. The other four catch the ball. But Philly Mike, it's only AJ and Devontae as wide receivers. Who cares? In this game, you can line Goddard up at the X position. You can move him out into the slot. You can play him in 12 personnel. You can utilize Saquon Barkley like the Giants did. Tell him more smarter than our previous offensive regime guys. That being said, he understands that. Saquon catches 50 passes a season. You got to utilize them. So again, pass catcher one, A.J. Brown. Pass catcher two, Devontae Smith. Pass catcher three, Goddard. And number four, Saquon. Then we got the Rook or Devontae or maybe just Britton Covey. You got to reward the guy for knocking it out the park on special teams. 12 personnel is Hurts fuel. It is. That big, heavy, physical personnel gets Jalen Hurts going. Sometimes he can play under center. Thank you for Kellen Moore finally. I guarantee we see a lot more under center. Last year, Jalen was under center only 14 times, bro. 14 times. That's it. Under center 14. The whole season. That's less than one a game. He's not going to be in the center a lot, but a lot more than that. And he got a lot of pass catchers. A lot. Green Wingman with the $5 Super Chat. Appreciate the love and appreciate the support, my guy. He said, what is your opinion and why Devontae Smith hasn't been extended? Uh, uh, f f fantastic interview. Oh, I was, I was trying to say fanatics, like a jer the jersey place, but I don't know why. Maybe because there's no space between the question mark. It threw me off. Uh, what's your opinion why Devontae hasn't been extended? Fantastic interview with Slay. Continue to grow, my brother. Hey, it's, it's guys like y'all, all y'all, just by hitting the like button, just by viewing the channel. The super chats are extra, but I greatly appreciate it. Uh, this is how we grow the channel. Slay, 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 seen some of the stuff I've been saying on Twitter. You know what I mean? We talked about it like, a, like during the season. He remembered me. He remembered me. Hit me up. And it was last minute, but we made it happen. Now to the Devontae Smith point, I think it's harder to finagle. Well, I don't know. Look what we just did with Landon Dickerson. 21 mil annually, 50 guaranteed, 87 max, base at 84 mil. 
He just made him the highest paid guard. So we can't be talking money is an issue. Um, I think the fact that the, the main reason I think Devontae Smith is, is, is not done yet is because the urgency to get Landon Dickerson. Mind you, Landon Dickerson's a second round pick. Year four is it. After this year, he'd be free gain for anybody to grab. How he's always going to look at the offensive lineman as the utmost importance. He was up earlier and he got it done. I think there got to be some urgency, though, because of how many wide receivers contracts are coming up. I heard Justin Jefferson turned down 30 mil to the Vikings. I don't know how true it is. It's just out there right now. You got Amon Ross St. Brown talking about maybe 27, 28 mil for Amon Ross St. Brown. He's good. But is he worth that much? So then you look at these things and say, you got to get Devontae Smith under contract quickly. But I understand the Landon Dickerson move first. I'd be worried if the season starts and Devontae under, ain't under contract, then I get worried. But I think right now, he got Landon Dickerson out the way. He's feeling out what's going on in free agency, understanding that you and I, all of us, want a safety or a linebacker. The draft's coming, but I can see after the draft, Devontae getting extended. That's what I see. King DV Sports, one more $2 super chat. He says, shout, shout out to you, Philly Mike. Slay interview is great. Hey, I appreciate everybody who watching it again. If you didn't see it, go back and check it out. I dropped it around 8.30 this morning. It was recorded while all the freeze age and frenzies were going on. I got off the live, picked my son up. Slay hit me up like, yo, I'm free. You good? I'm like, you think I'm going to tell him to reschedule it? I might not get him back on. So we jumped into, I was wanting to do a free agent video, but we broke it down a little bit with Slay for sure. Again, it's the one with CJ Garner Johnson on there. and uh. Yeah, check it out when y'all get a chance. Let's talk a little bit about Sweat. Because Sweat did put the... Oh, Gay's gone? Willie Gay got signed? Who, who Willie Gay get signed by? Well, he there it is. Come on, bro. My son just repeated me. Come on, bro. Little four-year-old with the come on, bro. Breaking Super Bowl champions. Wait, what? Oh, Super Bowl champion standout linebacker Willie Gay signing a one-year deal with the New Orleans Saints. He's repped by at Tory Dandy. Wow, a one-year deal. One year. Really? That's a Howie Roseman specialty. One-year deals are all what Howie Roseman does. And here we go. Another safety off the board. Wow. Dolphins are signing former Bills. And look, I know a lot of people didn't want Jordan Poyer because he's a little older. And we were, some people were upset with Justin Simmons being 30. Jordan Poyer is 32. But the Dolphins are signing former Bills safety Jordan Poyer on a one-year deal per agent Drew Rosenhaus and Kyle Lincoln. Jesus. So another safety off the board and Jordan Poyer, whether we like him or not. Willie Gay off the board, one-year deal worth a max of $5 million. Bro. I would have paid $5 million easy. I mean, I wouldn't have paid I would love to see Howie Roseman pay five mil for Willie Gay. Listen, when you take a one-year deal, you want to prove it. You want to be on a good football team to prove your worth. So next year, you can hit the market for a three-, four-year deal. What you proving on the Saints? They ain't going nowhere. I mean, their defense is always pretty good. What are you proving on the Saints? How do you not offer? How do you not match that? What did Jeremy Chin sign for? Somebody in the chat let me know what Jeremy Chin signed for. Let me know what Jeremy Chin signed for. But also, one year, five million max? 
That's a max of five mil. So if he doesn't hit all the actual stipulations of his contract, he might only be making four mil. That's crazy. Bang, bang, bang. A linebacker and a safety off the board ASAP Rocky. I know everybody was hurt when this one happened. Breaking news. Patrick Queen to the Steelers. He come into PA. Just not to uh just not to Philly. Wow. Five million max. Peter Riley, Morrow to the Bills, yes. <laughs> Shout out to Morrow to the Bills. DJ Garner Johnson to the Raiders, where do you see that? Chin made five mil too? Bro. Y'all saying Chin made five mil. So you're telling me we could have got a safety and a linebacker for 10 mil. That's crazy. Jordan Poyer gone, yeah. He went to the Dolphins. Where I don't see the CJ Garner Johnson, John. I don't see no CJ Garner Johnson. <sighs> yeah, Morrow could go. Morrow could go for sure. But listen, yo, Jeremy Chin had injuries, but if you're judging Jeremy Chin off last year. He didn't do that good, but he was injury riddled last year. If you're going off of last year, it is what it is. But if you're going off of this year, if you're going off of this year, I mean, uh, the previous year, not last year, I thought I saw something about the Eagles, but it was an old ML report. Caught me off guard for a second. I just don't understand why this 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 sounds like this sounds like how he should have easily did it. Let's see something. Max of five million. How is that not a priority? Super Bowl champion. He got game. I talked about him a couple videos. I talked about him like the, a week or two ago. Pearson Smythe said Gay's a 4-3 linebacker. I don't know. Well, here's my thing. <laughs> to be honest, at this point, I'll take a 4-3 linebacker than no linebacker. I mean, sheesh. We're coming right now. Look, this this is who we got on the roster. The roster. I uh, Zach Cunningham's a free agent. <laughs> the dude might get signed. <laughs> we just saw Nicholas Morrow get signed for one year. What if Zach Cunningham gets signed? We ain't re-signed him yet. Right now on the roster is Zach Bond for a year. And a Kobe Dean. Zach born for a year. And the Kobe Dean. That's it. That's all. Now, as much as I want linebacker, I want safety. And we started this video off talking about Earlier, ML saying Justin Simmons was close to being a Philadelphia Eagle, and if that gets reported, I'm still, I'm, I'm, I'm still low key satisfied. Um, yeah, Devin White's an interesting, interesting linebacker because when I hear his name, I think he's like thirty, but he's really only twenty six. He is only twenty six. The Eagles getting Devontae Parker, not good, not bad. 
it actually falls more on the good side if you look at how how he finagled the 4.69 only having to pay 1.2. But whether he makes a team or not, the offense side of the ball is 100% good. I don't need to see nothing more done on the offensive side of the ball. Because whether he's a good wide receiver three or not, he might not be there, and we're not going to win or lose any money, really. I need to see defensive acquisitions. Simmons, Garner Johnson. You know, even again, Commanders picking up Jeremy Chin. Last year he was hurt, not so good. The year before was pretty darn good. If you give me a 2022 Chin and a 2023 Gay, Add it to the Eagles' defense. It's formidable. Oh, but he's not a 3-4 linebacker. At this point, we got we don't even have three or four linebackers. <laughs> we don't have three linebackers on the roster. We got two. <laughs> the Eagles got two, two linebackers on the roster. That's it. Zach, Zach Cunningham is a free agent. We might sign him back, but right now, the Eagles, <laughs> the Eagles got two line. No, no, no I'm, I, I'm capping. I'm capping. Forgot we got undrafted Ben Van Summeren. I forgot. Put some respect on Ben Van Summeren's name. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. He's under contract. He's an undrafted rookie free agent last year. I forgot. My bad. I saw uh, Aziz Al Shair get signed by who? Who who signed Aziz? I saw that before I got up on here live. Who signed Aziz Al Shair? Let me know. Was it the the Texans? I want to say the Texans. Correct me if I'm wrong. Aziz Al Shair went to the Texans. Somebody in the chat, let me know. Texans, Antonio Home, first one. Cal Bunny said, Van Summer and a sleeper, low key. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you saying it, but <laughs> the way we looking, that's what probably how he's thinking. He's like, we just signed Zach Baum, Nicole Dean, stud, fuckus award winner. We drafted him in the third round for a reason. We got rid of TJ Edwards for a reason. Kobe Dean stud. Then he's looking at Ben Van Summer and like, bro, he a sleeper. You saw that Beware of Dog sticker at his locker room when he was playing that one or two games? Yeah, he gonna get some PT. And then they're like, did you see who we just signed? Zach Bond? Sheesh. That linebacker room looking tough. Nicole Dean. Ben Van Summeren and Zach Bond. We don't need Josie Jewell. Let him go to the Panthers for 20. We don't need Josie Jewell. We don't need Jordan Brooks. We don't need Aziz Al Shayer. We don't need him. We don't need Willie Gay. We got Ben Van Summeren, Zach Bond, and N'Kobe Dean. I still have belief in N'Kobe Dean. I'm not going to hold my breath because of his injury status, but I do still believe in the Kobe Dean's ability. If you get formidable linebackers around him, I think he'll start to pick up. Zach Bond, I'm not like all out too, because I would have drafted him in 2020, so he would have either been a, a, he would have developed either better or worse or who knows, but I would have went for him in 2020. Flyboy, yes, we still got Isaiah Rogers. And I, I mean, I'm going to be very interested in how the Eagles deploy him. Will they convert him to the slot due to Avante Maddox's uh, departure? Will he play outside if Bradbury's getting cooked? If he keeps getting cooked, will they play him outside? I'm trying to figure it all out. Brother Rob said, I believe in a Kobe Dean too. Let, let, let me just check the temperature real quick. I just want believe or don't believe in the chat to figure out who really believes in the Kobe or not. Again, 
I'm not saying he's going to come out here and be Brian Urlacher or, or Luke, 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 whatever his name, Luke Kinley. Luke, I forgot what his name is. Anyways, he's not going to be Ray Lewis, but I think if he can stay healthy, N'Kobe Dean is going to be like, hey, this is why we drafted him. Yeah, he, he's a solid B+. Plus. He, he can do some things, but he got to stay healthy. I got to see it. It's only year two. One year he got starting. Barely. I didn't see enough bad to say no. I ain't seen enough good to say yes. But I'm still remembering how good he was in college. But if you can look at his game for what? The four or five games he played this year and say he sucks? I can't. But what I can say is, can the dude stay healthy, please? Please. Let me read these off. We gonna rock it out. Believe. 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 Don't believe. Believe, believe, don't believe, believe, don't believe, believe, don't believe, believe. <laughs> I believe that's all, folks. Zach, believe. Peter Riley, believe. Jules, don't believe. SM, believe. Rodericks, believe. Jacob, believe. Mama said, I'm 50 50. Sean, don't believe. Uh, I'm awake, said Green Dot. Antonio, believe. Ryan, don't believe. CJ Swish, I just want to vet next to him. That's where we thinking the same. Pretty many said believe. JN said no. Need better linebackers. Young, I believe. William, don't believe. Grind said half halfway believe. Keekly, Luke Keekly, yes. Slipknot, believe. We need Devin White, says Rob 350. The real RP, don't believe. Jordan Chambers believes, though. Uh, these things are flying off the market. I can barely keep up with y'all. Matt says, uh, fan forever, I believe. UGA fan forever, I believe. Joey said, nah. Forty said, uh, give that Dean some. <laughs> Ryan said, Devin White all the way. Davey Boy said, I would like them to sign a linebacker, but I'm cool with the signing and corner of safety and drafting a linebacker. I hear y'all. Look, I still think the majority believes in the Kobe Dean. Again, we're not saying we believe he's going to be a Hall of Fame linebacker in 2024, but listen. My biggest expectation for N'Kobe Dean is to be the starting linebacker by week five, all right? If N'Kobe Dean is the starting linebacker for the Philadelphia Eagles by week, why am I just holding this up to? Let's see this. See was anything else popped off. If N'Kobe Dean is the starting linebacker by week five, that will give me five weeks of footage to see what this man is. First of all, I'll be able to say, he survived five weeks in a row. Check number one. And then, how was he in coverage? How was he versus the run? Who's to the left of him? Who's to the right of him? What's the Eagles record? What's the Eagles defense looking like? Is he the green dot again? Is he a captain? Is he a leader? Is he a dog? We get to find out stuff. Because we have not even seen a Kobe Dean play five games in a row. And that's why I'm not trying to judge the Kobe Dean yet fully. But let's not forget the tape that was put on via college. The UGA games. Yeah, they beat up on everybody. I understand that. But the Kobe Dean was the Buckets Award winner for a minute for a reason. Break and former Bill's speedy wide receiver Isaiah McKinney is signing with the New York Giants. Yo, the Giants never, ever have receiver ones over there. Never, ever have receiver run ones over there. Now, we'll, real quick, let me, uh, what do I do? Let's, let's real quick hear a word. Hold on, where, where, where is it? Don't tell me I don't have it. All right, we're going to do it this way. Let's hear a word from our sponsor, BetUS. Again, the easiest sports book out there. BetUS is offering a lot of things. The link is in the description and is pinned to the comment section. You can receive 125% bonus on your first three deposits. Use the promo code, I mean, use the link in the description and then type in join125 and you will get that again. There's only future bets for the NFL. You can still gamble on who the Eagles are going to draft. I would wait until free agency's over. Well, 
the way the Eagles are doing it, free agency might just be over already. I don't know. I don't know. I still believe a safety, and I still believe we're going to sign a safety. And if Howie got that dog in him, he might really look around the league, look around the league and find somebody who has a linebacker on the roster that he can trade for. Mind you, we still don't know what's going on with Hassan Reddick and Josh Sweat. Hassan Reddick and Josh Sweat, whether they stay or go, stay cool. They're productive. Go, that's draft picks for what? Draft picks for a possible trade in the future. So once we get out of NFL free agency, we can see who the Eagles are really targeting via the draft, and we can, we can throw some bets on it. I will definitely throw some live bets in front of y'all. As it pertains to the NBA, I'm a sports fan all in all. We do Eagles content, but we always looking at the NBA, watch a little baseball when that comes. The Sixers, don't pick them right now. They're looking like hot. They're not good. Tobias Harris looking like crumble cookies out there, for real, for real. You made some moves, but without Joel Embiid, the Sixers are just a team that is always going to be the underdog. And they're not going to win. Got the Wizards and the Grizz. That's a good one. OKC and the Pacers. OKC's been playing some good ball for sure. Celtics, Jazz, Timberwolves, Clippers. Again, BetUS makes sports gambling that much more easier when you have 10% gambler insurance as long as you're active for six months. Any and all type of bets and you receive 125% bonus on three bets. In a row. Let's get back to uh, the regular schedule program real quick. Shout out to the 990 people in the building again. CJ Garner Johnson, Justin Simmons. How long are they going to even wait? How long are they going to wait on the market? I don't see them really. <laughs> I don't really see. They're not going to make it to the second wave. I mean, the way people were flying off the board, I'm shocked that they're still on the board. You know, again, you got a guy like Jordan Poyer going for a one-year deal when you got two guys that were up there a little bit as it pertains to top safeties on the board that are still lingering around. Let me ask you all a thing. I want to check the temperature on this real quick. Before we get up out of here, because honestly, I didn't plan to go for 47 minutes. We're going to do a full hour for sure. Uh, do a full hour, and then we'll get up out of here. Who would you rather sign? CJ Garner Johnson, Justin Simmons. Look at how they would fit this team under Van Gio. Think about the contract that would be offered. Who, who are you looking at? CJ Simmons. Who would you pick? I've seen a lot of people on Twitter say literally that Simmons will just fit the team better than CJ. And some people are still mad for the simple fact that, you know, CJ left us, talked a little trash on us. Like, I, I'm cool. I, I forgive and forget. I'm quick with the forgive and forget. Texans still making mad moves. Texans are making moves. They got a, they got line. Look at this. They got a linebacker. They got two linebackers. No, a linebacker and a pass rusher. Let's see what y'all said. Dang. Y'all started going quick. Matthew said Simmons. Jarrett said Simmons all the way. On his way. Now get C.J. Garner Johnson. DoorDash said both. Big Track Simmons. Keisha Simmons. Jarrett said both. Tay Bell said C.J. Devin White, Corey said both. Shrinker said CJ. Peter Riley, Justin Simmons. Fitness Warrior said Cam Curl. Trey said we need them both. Mr. Cheese, Simmons. S. Clayton Simmons. Dang, so see, a lot of y'all like Simmons too, but here we go with the CJ people. Mark G, CJ, Davey, CJ. They are S. Bench, CJ. Demons, uh, the Don says CJ was good when he didn't see. Yeah, <laughs> Bradbury was even good last time CJ was here. It's, pr it's pretty even. A lot of people want both. And I I'm with you. I would definitely take both for sure. But if you're telling me it's one or the other, you know, I'm a person that 
I, I need to see one come first. If one comes to the Philadelphia Eagles, then I'll be hitting right to what y'all saying. Give me both. Give me both. But I need to see at least one come first. But at this time, we really don't need to mess with the offensive side of the ball because the offensive side of the ball is... Am I just... There it is. That's what I'm going to get back to. The offensive side of the ball is fine. Plug me in, CJ. Uh, said CJ, those words are only are the only words. Kenny said Simmons, big hurt season. Simmons, Williams said Garner Johnson, young mid, both fit and lit. Said both. A lot of a lot of both. I like it. I like it. Hey, shout out to everybody up in the building. Listen, we got still 900 people in the building, only 272 likes. Hit the like button, subscribe if you are new, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss these videos. Again, we're going to be going live, dropping regular videos, going live, dropping regular videos. Pretty much 24, every day of the week. Sometimes twice. If we end up getting the time to do a video in the morning and a live later in the day. Big Trag said Reddick and Huff going to be tough. If if we end up extending Reddick, I think that's going to be a nice, nice pairing. Again, I'm not really opposed to keeping Josh Sweat, but I think Huff has the potential to be better than Sweat. Huff has the potential to be better than Sweat. Shout out to my guy, I'm awake, are you? <sighs> Mob says, see you going to Johnson. I just like this. Shout out to you, Arthur. Yeah, we went from a quick 270 to a 305 real quick. Shout out to the real ones. Roderick said, CJ, Fangio was an advisor during the 2022 season, so he knows what CJ can do as well. LOL, yeah. Let's not forget, Fangio was here as an advisor to Jonathan Gannon the year we went to the Super Bowl. Now, I don't think he really advised them in the Super Bowl, but... Watching how Jonathan Gannon deployed C.J. Garner-Johnson is definitely in the back of the head of one Vic Fangio. So anybody who says he can't be utilized the same way as Simmons, now maybe Simmons could be utilized better, but nah, I mean, I'm, out, I'm looking at it like, I think C.J. right now being in his prime at 26 is the more talented player. But don't get me wrong, if they sign Simmons, I'm going to be exact, extra happy. Extra happy. Rob said, you build your team through the draft and enhance your team in free agency. All these moves are enhancements, and then you find your building blocks in the draft. Great job by Roseman. I like, I like how you worded it. You're right. But here's the thing. There's been times where we haven't been able to get our building blocks the right, right? You know, the Jalen Raggers of the world and stuff like that, but, you know... I'm a believer in Jordan Davis. I know a lot of people are already looking down on him in year two. I need to see year three to really even give my judgment. But I've seen so many signs of this guy has what it takes. Now, he needs to just be able to continue the longevity of a season. He needs to be a little bit better shape to stay on his P's and Q's, especially with the, with the fact that Fletch is not there. Oh, my bad. Fletch led the D-tackle room in snaps. He led the D-tackle rooms in snaps. If you're leading the D-tackle room in snaps, and now you just go, someone that's going to fall on Jordan Davis. Milton Williams is there, too, and he is underrated for sure. But a lot of that fall on Jordan Davis and Jalen Carter. Again, real quick before we get up out of here, the Eagles did... Signed former Patriots wide receiver Devontae Parker. They reached an agreement on a one-year deal worth $4.69 million, fully guaranteed, of which the Eagles only pay $1.2 mil. Again, if Parker is signing with a team that needs him to be number two or even number three pass catcher, it's not a good deal. But he's signing with the Eagles who he will be on the depth chart if he makes the roster because only having to pay 1.2 mil of the 4.69 means he's expendable. 
You draft the guy in the fourth or fifth round, let it compete with Grandpa. If Grandpa beats him out, cool, he gets a depth chart spot, wide receiver three. But in reality, wide receiver one, A.J. Brown. Wide receiver two, Devontae Smith. Pass catcher three, Goddard. And pass catcher four, Saquon. So whoever's wide receiver three on a depth chart is going to be asked little to do. That's it. Not good, not bad. But for the Eagles, it makes sense. You cut them, you don't lose nothing. You keep them. Who knows if he comes in clutch for a game or two? That's it. Insurance as we head into the draft. I thought with this news being what? This news, not this one. Again, the, Justin Simmons is on the other part of this thumbnail and, and, and YouTube title. Again, they said it's around 243. 243, the Philadelphia Eagles are working to get a deal, a multi-year deal with free agent safety Justin Simmons. The deal is not done, but Vic Fangio wants Justin Simmons in Philly. When that was set around 3 o'clock, I said, hey, if I go live around 6, hang to about 7, maybe we fall into the sweet spot of the Justin Simmons signing. And thus far, no. No signing. I've seen a couple signings by the Texans and the Bills and the Dolphins. But none by the Eagles. Minus. If I take Parker, move. Look at this. Even 23, mils ago, three, 23 minutes ago. In the last hour, I've seen three linebackers and three safeties go off the board. Two safeties. Three linebackers and two safeties go off the board in the last three hours. Was he my first option? No. And there's still better options, so who knows? Wednesday's not the deadline. The deadline is when football starts. <laughs> the deadline is in August. The deadline is actually never. See, what happens is this. This is what happened. March 11th at 12 o'clock was the legal tampering period. Wednesday, on March 13th, the day before my birthday, March 14th, is when the guys you legally tampered with, all this stuff, right? Jordan Dolphin signing safety Jordan Porter to a one-year deal via rap sheet. He's not officially signed to the Dolphins. March 13th, Right now, it's all handshakes. Sure, I'll sign with you. Sure, I'll sign with you. Even ours. Saquon and Bryce Huff, Devontae Parker. They're all handshakes. Wednesday, the pen is allowed to get put to paper. You're not allowed to sign them via pen to paper until Wednesday, March 13th. Then they're locked in. And it's always like this. March 11th. 12, 13, 14, 15. That's around the first wave of free agency. Then guys sit, and guess how long they sit to? After the draft. People who are fringe guys, whether they're the, uh, you know, the Zach Cunninghams of the world, the Ter Terrell Edmonds of the world, even veteran guys who are good but a little older. Some, some would say someone like that, but he already got snagged up. They sit on the market, teams go into the draft, maybe they get who they want, maybe they don't get to who they want, maybe they change their draft plans, whatever happens, happens. And then they say, ooh, so we went through free agency number, the first wave, and we went to the draft, and we're still weak at this position, or this position. So then they come back to free agency and see who's left. Oh. That guy and that guy. Uh, I'll take this one. Why do you think we signed Nicholas Morrow, Zach Cunningham, Terrell Edmonds? They were after draft, after the draft fillers. Your team ain't, Howie Roseman is not going to stop working on this team ever. He'll be looking to sign free agents and or newly released players and or trade for players all the way up until the start of the season. 
Remember when we got James Bradbury? Now, I know we didn't want him for the 2023 season, but he was damn good in the 2022 season. We got him when? Around the start of the season. CJ Garner Johnson. When did we trade for him? In August. June, July, August, around there. Close to the start of the season. So how he's going to continue to build this roster up until we win a Super Bowl. <laughs> until the trade deadline during the season. That's when it officially stops. And not even still because people will get released and whatnot. Hopefully I don't, well, actually I don't care when it happens. But we need to sign one of C.J. Garner-Johnson or Justin Simmons. If I, un if I turn this off and we sign him, maybe I come back, maybe not. Do got some stuff I got to take care of. Again, if you didn't see my morning video with C.J. Garner-Johnson on the thumbnail, we have Big Play Slay talking free agency, Vic Fangio, and more. We talk free agency, but we also talk with Big Play Slay. Shout out to him for coming on the channel. Shout out to y'all for being in the chat. Again, my birthday's March 14th. Don't forget about it. I'm just kidding. Hit the like on the way out. It's free. It's easy. Subscribe to the channel. Almost a 50K. That's because of y'all. Turn the notification bell on because sometimes you're like, dang, I get to Mike's live stream and he's already ending it because I've been here for an hour. We talked about all our topics and we went over what the chat wanted to talk about. Until next time, you know what time it is. We are. If I could find it, if I could find it, out. Peace. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike. Talking sixes in the bird game, that's our life. Competition, we ain't scared, yeah, that's what we like. Win or lose, you know we showing up and we gon' fight. Uh, you see, we strive for the sky every day that go by. And every single week we scream and fly, eagles fly. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike, yeah. This is Philly talk with Philly Mike, yeah.